<clears throat> My name is Jim Thomas and welcome to the Fitness Management Update. Our topic today is how to handle staff sales training in your gym. You must be training your staff. You know, this is the only way you're going to improve. And, you know, the example I would give you, you know, if you're a personal trainer with somebody, you know, do you want your, your client, you know, working out two, three, four times a week? You want them working out once a month. You know, where are they going to get the best results? You know, and honestly, they're going to get the best results when they're doing this on a regular basis. It's the same thing with your sales staff. You know, so here's what we want to recommend for you. Give you some thoughts on how you can put this together. Make sure you have a weekly sales meeting. Same time, same place every week. Every Tuesday at 10 o'clock, weekly sales meeting. All department heads are there. All key staff are there. It's mandatory. It's required. You give it, and you're prepared and ready to go. Make it about an hour. Have daily sales training. At some level, you're training every single day in sales how to overcome objections, how to greet the customer, how to take a phone inquiry, how to get referrals, how to prospect. Make sure you're training every day on something. And this can be 10, 15, 20 minutes. It doesn't have to be you know, any great length of time. But then make sure you follow up on all this. Don't just say it and ignore it. Role play. You know, one of the great, great ways to learn about how your staff is responding to all this is role play with them. Are they really prepared? What you don't want to have happen is you don't want your staff practicing on the paying customer. If they're not ready, don't put them in front of that customer. It's costing your mo you're costing you money. You're better off, you know, taking that guest yourself. You know, shopping reports. You know, shop your club. You know, have uh, have secret shoppers come and shop it. Have uh, have people call in and shop, you know, via the phone inquiry. Okay, this will give you a great indicator. Let your that you're going to do this. Now, one of the things I would do, particularly on the shopping internally. If you do shop the club, and certainly suggest you do, and and if anyone needs a shopping report, you know, email me at jake at fmconsulting.net. Be happy to send one of those over to you. But on those shopping reports, if they're coming into the club, you know, they could end up spending 20, 30 minutes, an hour, even, you know, with a with a, a customer sometimes. So if they do everything properly with that customer via that uh, shopping report, go ahead and pay them a commission for that sale. That'll turn it more into a positive instead of trying to catch them doing something wrong. So do shopping reports. Have a new hire jumpstart. You know, when you bring a new uh, new salesperson on board, how do you get them jump started? I can tell you one of the things that we do is we have them you know, pull out their cell phone and we want them to call every single person they know and they're gonna offer them a free week. We want them to get appointments on the books, people in the door and let's get sales and that power base people they know people that trust them is a great way to start and anyone that says well I can't do that I can't sell my friends what they're really telling you they're not sold on this and just as well find that out right now that they're not sold on this they're not going to sell to anybody else because selling your family and friends if you truly believe in this you know it should be one of the easiest things to do make sure when you're training stay true to this process don't don't get that so-called loose cannon kind of person. Here's how I do it. No, here's the process because you want everyone following that same process. This way, if you ever fall into a slump, things go off course. It's going to be easy to fix, and plus you can train a process. You can't train those you know innate abilities of somebody. You know, same thing with fundamentals. Teaching them you know how to overcome objections. You know how you handle these things. So get your plan in place on how to train your staff. Make this a key focus of what you're doing. This will make a dramatic impact on the improvement in your business. My name is Jim Thomas, and this has been the Fitness Management Update.